Welcome back to Walnut Springs. My name is Mike, and today I wanna to show you how easy it is to remove a free wheel. Let's get to it. To remove and install the free wheel, you're going to need a few tools. One is a chain whip, and then a specialty remover tool that will be specific to your style of free wheel. I'll put some links below to all the different models. This particular one works on all of my free wheels. It's a 12 spline, but they also make several different spline versions along with some notch versions. So you're gonna to wanna to check which one will work for your style of free wheel before you go and purchase a tool. You'll also need a 21 millimeter wrench and then some grease whenever we go to reinstall it. Now a free wheel is going to be significantly different than a cassette. Most modern bikes will use a cassette most older bikes or less expensive bikes will use a free wheel. Free wheels will generally come all the way up to a nine speed, but a lot of times you'll see them in six, seven, and eight speed. One of the main differences of a cassette versus a free wheel is the free wheel has the bearings built inside of it. Instead of it sliding onto the free hub, this will actually thread onto the wheel. So let's go ahead and let's show you guys how this will actually remove and then we can reinstall it. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the end of the quick release. Now once you've got that off of there, you may keep the end of the quick release handy where you can get to it. Then you're gonna take your free wheel tool and you can slide it on there. And then if you need to, if your free wheel tool is small, you can actually thread this back on and it will hold that on there. However, with this particular one, there's no need for that. It sits pretty deep inside the free wheel, holds on really well, so I'm not worried about it falling off. So I will fully remove the quick release from the bike. The next thing we're gonna get is our wrench and then we're going to try to remove it. Now, sometimes these can be very, very tricky to remove, especially on older bikes and you may need to get some sort of like cheater bar or some sort of extra long wrench to be able to break this free. However, this is a newer one, so it's fairly easy to remove and I'll show you the process of how to do that. Okay, now that we've got our wheel down on the ground where it's much easier to work with, we've got our free wheel tool remover installed in the free wheel. We can take our 21 millimeter wrench. I like this particular one because this actually fits in the closed end and it feels really secure whenever I'm going to remove this. Now, just remember whenever you go to remove this that it is a counterclockwise removal. So you're just going to brace the wheel and then give it a good push. It can be on there pretty tight. Even though this one was new, it is still on there really tight. Most of them that are older, I do have to get a breaker bar to be able to pull them off. If they are really seized on there, sometimes it can fully damage the wheel and there's no saving it. And there we go, it is fully removed and you can see that this is one of the big things with a free wheel is that the bearings are inside of here and this is threaded so it threads onto your wheel as opposed to sitting on a free hub like a cassette would do. Now let's go ahead and reinstall the free wheel now that we have removed it. And you're gonna to wanna to use some grease along these threads here so you don't get any seizing the next time that you go to remove it. It doesn't take a lot, just a little bit goes a long way and will help for future maintenance. Now take your free wheel and you can just simply place it on here and just start spinning it forward or in a clockwise motion, you'll feel it start to grip onto the threads. Just make sure that you don't cross thread it, make sure it's going on nice and smoothly. Eventually we'll get it to where it actually stops. And once it stops, you can either put this on your bike and put the chain on it and apply some pedal pressure to fully lock it in. Or if you have a chain whip, you can just simply take the chain whip, wrap it on one of the gears and crank it forward. And that is it. It's ready to go back on the bike and out for a ride. And there you go. That's how easy it is to remove a free wheel. You just have to remember the proper direction to turn it. You don't really need very many specialty tools. You just have to make sure that you have the right tool 
for your particular freewheel. If you guys found this video helpful, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and I greatly appreciate it. And also, if you saw some tools in here that you don't have but you know you're going to need for this type of work, I'll put some links down in the description below. If you click on those and purchase from those links, it does come back and help this channel a little bit at no extra cost to you. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.